I'm Sue Shields. And I'm Pat McLaughlin. And we're here today with Paradise on a Budget. Yep. And we're going to talk about how to prepare for hurricanes. Since we're in Florida, we need to be prepared. And now is the time to do it. Right. Since hurricane season started June 1st, we want to make sure we have everything ready in case it hits. Right. And even if you're not in a hurricane area, this is still good stuff to have ready for tornadoes, blizzards, yeah. ice storms, and floods in case you have to evacuate. There are things here that we'll talk about. Yeah. So let's kind of start with um, contacts. Your contact list, your emergency contact list, you can get these lists from uh, online. Just type in Google emergency hurricane preparedness. And your medical records, you need your primary doctor's number, your dentist, pharmacist, uh, veterinarian, hospital, all your insurance, your health insurance, your car insurance and home insurance. You need your policy number and group numbers, so they're ready. And if you have kids, you need school number, babysitter, daycare. We in 55 and older communities don't have to worry about that part. <laughs> no, but it's good to, yeah. good to have a form that, that reminds you of all the things that you need. Yeah. And then I would pick somebody that doesn't live in the area mm -hmm. as your contact person and make sure they have a copy of this list or a couple of other of your relatives or friends so that it's easily accessible. Now I have a fireproof uh, bag that I keep all of our policies and all of our stuff and it goes with me if we need to evacuate or leave yeah. we take it with us so that's a good thing I sent my files with my copy of our driver's license and insurance cards to my son who lives in Iowa and he has it on his computer in case I lose right the policies and or something. we have a flash drive there that has all of our stuff copied onto a flash drive and it includes pictures of our house the way it looks now i forgot to do that so yeah. for insurance purposes they can't contest it you can show that yes it was here in my house yeah um let's just start over on the far side pad if you would with we things need we need lanterns most likely and when we have a hurricane probably three days worth of water and food and stuff but the lanterns definitely will come in handy. Um, if you have candles, yeah, but it's kind of dangerous with candles. Lanterns are much better. Extra batteries, you want to make sure your batteries are good batteries. They're not dead. Flashlight, big flashlights. This is a crank up radio and clock. And you just keep, as it gets low, you just crank it up. And it keeps your, uh, it's also got an emergency uh, charger. <laughs> yeah, it has a charger. But you can charge it by cranking it too if you wow. don't have access to cool. electricity. And it's solar. Oh, it is solar, yeah. yes. You can, if the sun's out and you can get it out in the light, <laughs> it'll charge up. Good. You definitely need an umbrella. You don't have to have the. Uh, Mary Poppins say? Yeah, you don't have to have that one, but you do need an umbrella and a thermometer. You never know what's going to happen. First aid kit. Yes. Definitely. You want to take any type of medications that you have. And I also recommend that you write down and that your relatives know what your prescriptions are, your prescription numbers, where you get it. Yeah. So that if you have to replace any of that stuff, it'll be easy to do. The water, you need three days water. Three days worth of water, and you should have three bottles a day per person. So like with Pete and I, we'd have six per day. Yeah. Figure on electricity being out at least three days. I've, I've yeah. seen it be two weeks. Yeah. So, and, and then I um, also make tap water, and I mark it so I know it's tap water. And it's, it's good from here, so you, yeah. could, you could drink it and use it, but it's also good if you need to flush toilets after a flood, you may not have water. Yeah. So the other thing is to fill the bathtubs up with water for flushing toilets and just have extra water on hand. Right. Or your washing machine. Oh, that's, that's a good another thing of the washing to, machine. To have water on hand. Also, you can purchase these solar chargers. And you can charge your phone or whatever else you need to charge. Maybe your your radio that's a nice thing to have mm 
Ziploc bags and trash bags. Um, yeah, lighter. And if you have matches, better dry. Go to plastic bags. Yep. Make sure they're dry, obviously. Um, you want to make sure you've got plenty of paper towels for cleanup afterwards. You want to make sure you've got some bug spray, some hand sanitizer, some tools, just basic tools. Utility gloves. Yep, utility gloves. Uh, Kleenex. Go back to the gloves. Those are rose gloves. In Florida, we have palm trees which have little thorns on them. Yeah, so they're they're nice for picking up those thorny pieces of and the fronds that have come down. <laughs> yep. Okay, and then moving on through the kitchen. Again, snacks and food. You want to pick non-perishable foods, canned things like tuna. Um, some. Yeah, if you like SpaghettiOs, you know, that kind of stuff that you can actually eat. <laughs> Put on the grill if you need them. Right, up. if you have a grill with a burner, you can heat them up. Make sure you have plenty of paper towel, uh, paper plates, some soup, paper bowls, mm -hmm. napkins, cups, and utensils because you don't want to wash anything and you don't want to use dishes. Bring along some games to play because while you're waiting it out, it can be pretty boring if the electricity goes out and you don't have TV. <laughs> so I've got cards, Yahtzee game, whatever else you have or like to play, make sure you bring that. And then Pat, you want to talk about pets? Yeah. Because we do have pets. We have dogs and you want to make sure that you bring the dry dog food, their favorite toys, and their leash, their bowls for water and, and uh, food. But talking about the water, you also need enough water for three days for your pet. Right. Don't forget them. And we have sewing kit. You never know when you need safety pins. <laughs> Make sure you have toilet paper, disinfectant wipes, sunscreen, by all means, duct tape. Use that for everything. You need duct tape <laughs> and a tarp, for sure, because you may need to cover something up then. Yeah, part of your roof goes off. Right, right. Fire extinguisher. The uh, propane tank. Make Maybe. sure your propane tanks are full. I would even get an extra one. Yeah. Reason being, Pete and I lived in Northern Kentucky for our quite a few years, and we got the aftermath of Hurricane Ike. Mm -hmm. We had no rain. It was a beautiful sunny day, but we had winds of 70 miles an hour, oh, wow. ripping off shingles and siding, and the power was out for almost 10 days. Oh, wow. Everyone in the neighborhood was down at our house because we <laughs> actually had our grill hooked up to natural gas, so it, yeah. it never ran out, but it sure was nice to cook all of our meals out there. Yeah. You also want to take, um, these are cooling towels, Hmm. If it's hot, like it would be down here, you're going to yeah. want those. And the Spotify. Yep. The little Goes fans. Right Battery operated. Um, we said kitchen towels. First mm -hmm. aid. Fire extinguisher. You already said that. Mm -hmm. um, pad and pencil. You never know what you might need for. Right. And the tarp. And the tarp. And then if you're, if you're getting evacuated, you're definitely going to want to take with you blankets and bedding and also bedding for your pet. Yep. And I think that covers everything. Also, if you have one or can afford one, a generator is a good idea. Yeah. You never bring a generator in the house or even in the garage. Oh God, you want no. to keep it outside, but you can at least keep your refrigerator or freezer yeah. or have some things running off of that generator. And since we bought a generator, we haven't had any hurricanes. <laughs> And of course, Pat and I, always a staple in our kit. After you're finished and you're sitting down, looking at everything, grab a glass of wine. Yep. So that's it. Hope you're ready. And for whatever emergency you need. Be safe. And be safe, yes.